So I want to ask you specifically about <coughs> about taxes. Now I understand sure. you have you've brought out your uh, rent to own plan. I understand that you you're proposing a uh, a surtax on properties valued I think at four million and above, a very small Correct. percentage of things, and that's that, that's that. But what I'm not clear on is is property taxes. Uh, in general. Now, you know, John Tory has made it a signature part of his position in 2014, and he's consistent on this, that he will keep property taxes at or below the rate of inflation. Will you keep property taxes at or below the rate of inflation? So I have three things to say about this. The first is that this city, for many people, is currently not affordable. And the worst thing that we could do as a city is make the city le less affordable for those who have the hardest time paying. So as a principle, that's something that I'm committed to. Now, you mentioned the progressive tax, which I have introduced. That's a really good signal of the principle which I will bring to governing as mayor of this city, which is recognizing that those who can pay a little bit more, who've done exceptionally well in this city, ought to be contributing to ensure that those who are new to our city or young people in the city have the same opportunity that previous generations did. So that's the first piece. The second is how we spend money matters in this city. And I think it's a bit rich to be talking about uh, holding the line on taxes while at the same time throwing money out the window on things like rebuilding a, a crumbling expressway or drawing up new plans, uh, and that's, that's a $500 million rebuild. That's the difference between simply rebuilding the boulevard. That's, that's significant. Mr. Tory promised in the last election that he would uh, build smart track, 22 stations, 53 kilometers of new track, and that it would cost taxpayers nothing. nothing. Now what we're getting, of course, is a bill for $1.4 billion for six GO stations. Now, historically, GO stations have been built and paid for by the province. That's, that's an incredibly raw deal. So the second is, is making sure that we're using the money that we are collecting from taxpayers in a way that benefits the city in the future. Okay. I'm still There's not third clear part. on the sure. actual question, which is, and what I'm hearing, what I interpret from it is when, you're first, when you uh, first talk about the worst thing we could do is to make the city less affordable. Yes. And what I'm hearing is that, is that for the average not rich property tax owner or property tax payer, property owner, um, you would not make it things less affordable, i.e. you would not raise property taxes above the rate of inflation. Is that is that accurate? So the principle I'm bringing, that's correct. The principle okay. I'm bringing right. to governing here is ensuring that we're not increasing the burden. And I think we have to be, we have to be careful here that we kind of don't play a bit of a game with the tax because we know that Mr. Tory said he would not raise the transit, uh, the cost of transit, but over the course of the past four years, the cost of a Metro Pass went from $133 to $146, and that our previous city manager, Peter Wallace, made it clear that not raising the property tax uh, beyond the rate of inflation was actually done on the backs of those who have the most difficulty paying, <laughs> those transit users. Right. And that, you know, there's sort of a little bit of a game with words here, which is why I'm introducing a very different approach, which is based on the principle uh, of not making the city more expensive for those who can least afford to pay. And I've signaled very clearly through the progressive tax that I've introduced right. that I'm actually willing to do the tough stuff that needs to be done in, to ensure we have the monies that we need to deliver the infrastructure that we need in this, in this city. So I, th I think it's important to see that as in, a principle and an approach to governing, which is what I'm bringing forward.